have secured qualification from our Europa League group. Today we take on Villarreal in a winner tops the group match. And after that we travel up to the northeast to St James's Park to take on Newcastle United in a vital, vital Premier League game. Since the last episode we've had a very poor one all draw at home to Sheffield United. A stoppage time equaliser from uh, Julian Alvarez. We, we had about 20 shots on goal in the end. Uh, the first 15 of them were off target um, and I, for, with about 15 minutes to go I just pushed everyone up front and just piled the pressure on and we got the uh, got the reward in the end. We then went away to Carabag and we won 3-0. We were 2-0 up after 7 minutes and I thought maybe, maybe we'll get a repeat of the 9 that you can see at the top of the screen. Uh, it wasn't to be, we were 3-0 up before the break and that's how it finished. So, I, you know, a win's a win's a win at the end of the day. Three points is all that matters. We have scored 16 in the group. We haven't conceded one yet. Uh, Nantes have lost three in a row now after putting eight past Carabag, and they haven't even scored since uh, since that uh, that first day victory. So, it, as I say, if we if we win or even if we draw, as you can see, we are above them at the minute because we got the draw in Spain, as you can see here, and obviously we saw it on the channel. So any result other than the defeat would see us um, top in the group at the moment obviously a win would guarantee us winning the group um, so we just basically we have to match match their results Newcastle away in the Premier League is vital because it is 8th v 9th um, if we win it then we put a nice big gap between them if they win it is a um, becomes a bit nervy we do have a game in hand for some reason I think it's Man United, our game in hand. Uh, for some reason, we didn't play at the weekend. I don't know why. There's no rhyme or reason for it. I have no idea why it didn't happen. But it's given us a nice week off. So I don't mind too much. Um, just going to double check the team. We've had a few little injury worries. Alex Moret has missed a couple of games with injury. He is back now, though. Um, so we've got Pasilic, Loftus-Cheek and Kamara in midfield at the moment. That might might not be strong enough i might have to just make some changes the problem is we've got this newcastle game on the weekend so i'm trying to play with that in mind as well that's why the likes of vlasic and vindal and declan rice and adeyemi and even alvarez suchek that's why these guys are not in the team um so this is one i'm going to go with at the end of the day i don't particularly mind whether we finish first or second I would like to finish first because it'll be worth a bit more money and there is a potential that you'll get a slightly better draw in the uh, in the knockout round as well and in fact remembering from last season if you win the group you go straight to the second knockout round don't you? you don't even take on the first so that would be the big the big incentive to to get the win here let's go out and put on a show how you look to build an impressive performance last time out just want to keep playing well Jarrod Bowen, uh, Kurt Zuma, not playing because I want him for the game against Newcastle. Uh, Dusan Vlaovic, still playing pretty well, didn't score in the last game. Uh, in fact, I don't think he's scored for two or three games now. Let's see what VRL have come to us with. They've come with a, a kind of a 4-3-3, a slightly defensive version. With Danny Parejo sitting in front of that back four. Gerard Moreno, Samuel Chukwueze, who is a brilliant player, and uh, Ontiveros in attack. Let's drop a little encouraging. Very, very low-key start. But Jarrod Bowen to take this corner. And it's headed just wide by Vlaovic. Not bad, not bad. Okay, come on. We can build. Come on, boys. Um, yeah, I mean... I would back us to go and win in France against Nantes. So if we do draw this game, I mean, obviously Villarreal are going to beat Carabag. So we do need it in our own hands going into the final match day, really. As Gerard Moreno heads over. I mean, I'd say at the end of the day, the, it would be nice because we'd, if, if we top the group because we'd miss that first knockout round, which would be two games off the schedule, which... I'd be quite happy with, if I'm being honest. Half an hour gone. Very, very, very low-key game. 
we're on the defensive here with Pedraza. Oh, and Gerard Moreno. Oh, how has he not scored there? Got a glancing header on that. I have no idea how that's gone wide. Oh, it's hit the bar, hasn't it? I think that's the second time they've hit the bar. Jarrod Bowen with a corner at R-ring. Tarkovsky beaten by defender on the near post. That's a nice play, though. And Bowen's going to hit one, and it was awful. This is... This is a terrible, terrible match. This is like a desperate attempt to make a YouTube highlights video, isn't it? When, you, when your club's had the worst nil-nil draw you've ever seen. And somehow <laughs> you have to get three and a half minute video for, the, for your YouTube channel. Which is kind of what I'm doing, really, I guess. Um, right, I'm going to get into them here. Point the finger and just say I don't like what I've seen. I'm, I'm trying... I'm, I'm, I'm wondering... Do I go to wingers, maybe? Do we do we stretch the pitch? They're playing with uh, pretty much the same as us. I mean, I'm wondering, do I even pull one of the midfielders and, and move him up behind Vlaovic and try, and try and press him a little bit that way? Let's see what happens in this highlight, though. That's a great tackle from Loftus-Cheek. Maddy Kamara now for Bowen. Played in for Vlaovic. First time. Goal for West Ham United. It's going to get checked, but for me, that is onside. I'd be very surprised if that one wasn't. You are joking me. That has got to be a shoelace offside. Oh, yeah, it just is, isn't it? Oh. I am way out on these at the minute. The last three or four have had disallowed. I've been convinced they're going in. And they're going to, be, they're going to, they're going to count. I've made a few changes then, so we have gone to a bit more of a 4-2-3-1. I've put all the uh, the three behind Vlaovic on attack. Loftus-Cheek up as an advanced playmaker. I've gone for wingers as well. I've put the full-backs on attack as well. And we've got Pasilic getting forward. And, um, yeah, it's, it's possibly going to backfire because I think they're going to be able to get in behind us a little bit. I think we're going to empty the defence out a bit too much. Um, and maybe only have centre backs left, but I'm trying just to go and win the game here, because it's it's one thing, isn't it? If if you're if you're creating loads of chances and you're playing well, then it's sometimes you don't you just take it on the chin. But we're not creating anything. We're not getting in. We're not doing anything. And now we have, and the changes maybe maybe worked straight away. Maybe we would have scored that goal anyway. Maybe not. Who knows? I'm going to take. The win on that and say that that is down to our um down to our change it's a lovely ball through and Vlaovic thunders it in and i'm just i'm just going to keep it as is for now i think it's nowhere near offside we don't even need to see that we made the changes just after the hour mark we score within seven or eight minutes can i can i take credit for that i don't know uh we will just I, I don't I, I don't like I don't want to sit back because that'll invite them onto us if we win this now if it stays as it is though we've won we've won the group uh, what I will do though I am going to drop it I am going to drop it uh, Jarrod Bowen needs to come off if I've got anybody that can come on um, I can put Adeyemi on and then move him over to the right and it looks like camera is going to have to come off as well. So we will bring Thomas Suchek on for a little bit. Suchek might be better suited to swapping with Loftus Cheek as well, actually. So, and it's, we'll we'll just hopefully just sit sit back a little bit now. Just take the sting out of the game. Maybe get a second. If he scores from there, it'll be some effort. Aaron Cresswell eyeing it up. Going to wrap his left foot round it. He's time-wasting a bit as well. Oh, Rully flies to his left and makes a save. That's a good hit and a very, very good save. If we if we keep the clean sheet, it'll be... F oh, just wide. Uh, I think that was Jim City, wasn't it? Yeah, if, if we keep the clean sheet here, we're five games without conceding. As he saves that, I was expecting that to, uh, to rattle the back of the net. It still might, of course. Danny Parejo... 
Oh, it's a poor ball. And Vlaovic can set Alvarez away. And we've got Adeyemi streaking up as well. They're getting forward. Oh, and Vlaovic! Oh, what a finish! And points in the bag. And that just shows that you can play a slightly cagier, slightly more cautious a system. But you can still hit on the break. That is an epic, epic counter-attack goal. Brilliant from Adeyemi. Lovely ball in. And Dusan Vlaovic thunders in his second of the match. And that gets us the points. And that wins us the group. Oh, I thought he was going to get his hat-trick there. Um, that wins us the group. 2-0. No goals conceded as things stand. That could change here. But this is second knockout round. Looming large now. Villarreal are going to have to play the first knockout round. It's a good cross though. And Paco Alcacer. Oh, am I going to look a bit silly now? <laughs> have I spoken too soon? Surely, surely not. But Serge Aurier just drives down to the byline. Whips the ball in, and this is a bullet header from Paco Alcacer. And it's our first goal conceded in competition. And you've got to say, they do deserve to be closer to us. It's been a very even game. It's taken us a, taken us a while to settle into it. We've played three different tactics in the game. And, oh, I thought Pedrosa was going to get it there. I thought he was going to get the leveller. And not particularly liking the fact that the highlight continues. Parejo down the line for Moy Gomez. Pasalic heads away. Oh, Moy Gomez is offside there. Moy Gomez is offside. That should be it. There it is. Come on. A brace from Dusan. Wins as the group. Um, and I'm going to have a little chat with Dusan as well. I am delighted. And don't forget, he had the ball in the back of the net three times as well. So that first one was just narrowly, narrowly offside. We are through as group winners. Which is a lovely, lovely, lovely feeling. We They will be given a bye in the first knockout round. That's what we like to see. Let's give Dusan a little, a little pep talk. England boss Gareth Southgate has been scouting as few players for the England team, and the Argentinian manager was there watching a couple of uh, a couple of the Villarreal lads. Right, let's see what state the squad is in as we uh, as we head up to the northeast. Well, one thing is certainly clear as we head up to St. James's, we need to start turning some draws into wins. Um, we've, got, we've only lost two in 13, but we've drawn five and won six. And we are, it's, it's, it's very tight from fourth down. It's, it's, um, if we lose today and Tottenham get, well, get the expected win at Bournemouth, which they should do, um, we could be a little bit cut adrift. So... I'm starting to feel the pressure a little bit here, you know. I'm, I'm starting to just think: Are we good? Are we going to get that top four, uh, that top six, top five finish? Um, ideally, this season I wanted a Champions League spot, uh, but maybe we'll just have to win the Europa League and do it that way. Hey, um, Dusan Vlaovic is struggling a little bit. He's he's tired, so he's on the bench today. But you know, Karim Adeyemi is not a bad replacement to play up front, is he? Plus, he might be a little bit quicker as well. Whoa, eight changes, eight changes from that Villarreal game. Wow, <laughs> that's a lot. That is a lot of changes. But it's okay because it's putting a, a pretty much our strongest team out. Uh, right, pump fists. Go out there and impress me. Yeah, it always helps to be as prolific. Yeah, are you hopeful of performance? Yes. And Karim Madiemi, because they normally play him out on the right. What are they... So it's asking me why I'm playing him as a striker, really. Similar formation, then, to what we just faced from Villarreal. 
but we're in with a highlight a hell of a lot earlier than we were in that game. Adeyemi heads it out to Jeremy Bolga. Back for Vindal. Clipped into the box. Adeyemi. Oh, it was nearly an own goal. I think it hit the post. Right, come on, boys. Vlasic to take this free kick in. It goes looking for Tarkovsky. Oh, he's hitting it wide. Oh, he did everything right. He put it back across where it came from. But he just missed that far post. That was unlucky. Declan Rice down the line to Jared Bowen. Johnson to Zuma. Johnson again. Hit long for Adeyemi. Oh, lovely touch to Bowen. Adeyemi on the move into the middle. Vlasic. Johnson. Suchek down to Adeyemi. He's gone for goal early. Oh, it was a good effort. He didn't miss by much. And Tottenham has scored a last-minute winner. Tottenham has scored a last-minute winner down on the south coast against Bournemouth. We need to win this game now. Vindal to Jeremy Boga. It's done well there. And he's played a good ball in for Amy And Declan Rice has gone on the overlap. But the ball kind of held up. It didn't run for him. And the shot was easily blocked. Here's Luca Dean to Mark Rocker. Get into them, boys. That's a nice ball to some Maximan from Seferovic. Dean. I don't like the way they're knocking this around. This isn't going to end up well for us. Julian Draxler. Puts Newcastle in front. It's a lovely move. They passed it around us. It's a really, really good move. Things are starting to get a little bit nervy over here, I'll be honest. Because with Tottenham winning, that, that kind of cuts us off from the top four a little bit. Uh, not the top four, the top six. Top four would be lovely. Uh, top six or seven would just be a little bit away from us. And six shots on goal, none on target. There we go, we've got one on target. Lucas Dean will take this throw. Johnson, it was a loose touch from St Maximan. Merritt's thumped it long. Adeyemi, for some reason, has given it up. No idea why. This is going to end 2-0, I think. St Maximan's going to launch one here. No, he's played it in for Seferovic. And he can't finish for anything, so that's all right. Again, though, nice move. A really nice move. They are playing some lovely stuff. Marcelo Bielsa is the Newcastle manager at the moment. And incidentally, I am the favourite for the vacant Arsenal job. Arsenal have sacked uh, Antonio Conte only a few months after he took over from Mikel Arteta. And I am favourite to take the job, which is madness. I never would, though. It's not happening. Right, come on, boys. I mean, Tottenham will be on 29. So we we are going to be struggling. And Seferovic has hit the post there. He almost made me eat my words about he can't score. We are not in this game. We may have had 10 shots, but we are not in this game. I'm, 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 I'm tense. I'm anxious here. So do we go all out attack? Is it too early for that? We'll bring Ben Rama on and we'll bring Alvarez on, but we'll put Alvarez as a wing up. What have we got in the instructions? Maybe take the work the ball. Should we go a little bit more direct? We'll just change the approach a little bit, maybe. Maybe take the play out of defence off. And see if that just gets it forward a little bit more urgently. This is a terrible performance so far. Right, Zuma's thumped one long. Adeyemi heads down to Alvarez. Back with Ben Johnson. Kurt Zuma. 
Vlasic. Nice ball looking for Suchek, who's in. Thomas Suchek. Come on, the tactical changes have worked again. It's those just little tweaks sometimes. I mean, sometimes you do have to move players around. You do have to push players up the pitch. But it does seem like substitutions and little tactical tweaks in games have much more of an effect this year than I've ever noticed before. Maybe it's just that I'm doing them more often. I don't know. I'm going to drop a demand more in note. And Declan Rice or Nikola Vlasic are going to have to come off. Who have we got on the bench? Camera. I'll take Rice off then. And we'll put on Maddy Camera with 10 minutes to go. And see if he can't have the sort of impact that he has had on, on camera before. He loves scoring it on our videos. Two minutes to go. Do we do we settle for the point and leave it as it is? Or do I... Yeah, because it keeps them at arm's length. It's not a great result, but it's not a disaster. Anxiously watching the clock tick up. And it is over at 1-1. Yeah, it is disappointing we didn't win. I'm assuming Tottenham held on to that 90th minute goal. How do you think the two teams fared? Yeah, don't care really. Uh, they did. Leicester beat Wolves earlier in a, uh, in a in a game that actually a win that puts Leicester above Newcastle. But we do have a four point gap on them now, and I've still got to believe that we're gonna we're gonna get above Brentford and Brighton at some point. I still got to believe that. The issue might be that we might not get fifth. But we've, we've surely, surely... I mean, seventh is dangerous because obviously it depends on the FA Cup winners as to what happens to the team in seventh. But surely we can get up into that top six. It is still there for us. Right, we've got the issue now of the World Cup looming large, which is going to have an impact, I think, on what I do next. I mean, look at, oh my God, Chelsea, Liverpool, Man United coming up in our next three. Oh, I've just realised how, how really, really damaging a 1-1 draw at home to Sheffield United and a one all draw away at Newcastle is when you've got those three coming up. Oh, holy mother of God damn. Oh, that is not good. That is not going to be a happy Christmas, is it? Right, I'm going to... What I'm going to do is I'm going to get through the World Cup. I'm going to get through these three horrific games. And I think I'm going to come back for the game away at Bournemouth. And then whoever we get in the FA Cup third round. And we'll we'll try and follow the FA Cup all the way as far as we get in it. Which might be the third round. Who knows? Um, so, yeah. But that might mean this episode is out on Wednesday. It might mean there won't be an episode on Friday. Uh, because I'm at a wedding on Friday. And I don't know if I'll have got through all of this in time to record. I will try. If not, hopefully it'd be out on Monday. Um, but anyway, smash a like on this one for me, guys. Subscribe and turn on those notifications. I'm reeling now those two draws and how expensive they're going to be considering those three games we've got coming up. That is not good. Um, I will see you after the World Cup in the January transfer window. See you soon.